Coming up on Unpeeled, ABC's current Bachelor, Matt James, is breaking his silence on The Bachelor's former host, Chris Harrison. Daft Punk is splitting up after 28 years of making music. And Sasha Kaye is set to portray Supergirl in the DC Extended Universe. And Maggie Rogers performed during a virtual concert for SU. All that and more, the first ever Live Unpeeled starts right now. Hello and welcome inside the Citrus TV studio for another edition of Unpeeled. I'm Max Chadwick. And I'm Carmela Boykin. And I'm Max Chadwick. Let's get right to our top story. Taylor Swift is releasing her first song from the vault tomorrow night at midnight. The song is called You All Over Me. Three coming out on the show. If you like us and spend too much time on TikTok, well, we've got some bad news. YouTube's new TikTok like feature is getting closer. YouTube Shorts is rolling out in the U.S. as part of a beta test. Its first beta launched in India in September, where Shorts grew to surpass 6.5 billion daily views. Well, Max, that is so many. YouTube <laughs> Shorts will... After Marvel had some fun with fans, the MCU's third Spider-Man film has an official name. After cast members teased fake names like Phone Home and Home Slice on their social media yesterday, Marvel dropped the real name in a teaser video earlier today. Spider-Man No Way Home hits theaters in December of this year. And Carmela, I was giddy by that news, but it wasn't the only major news out of the MCU today. Marvel Studios announced earlier that the upcoming TV show Loki will release at Disney Plus on June 11th. Ooh, that's both really exciting. Mm -hmm. I love Spider-Man, so I'm I did not like it either, but this one's a lot better. And look, Snyder's Cut is free of a lot of those elements and is a completely different movie. And speaking of making a 180 degree turn, Matthew McConaughey might have plans to make the state of Texas better than all right, all right, all right. The actor made an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon last week and addressed speculation that he may run for governor in Texas. He told Fallon that a run is something he's considering, but hasn't gotten any further than that. Now for some super news. I'm sorry for doing that. The DC Extended Universe has found its Supergirl. Sasha Kaye is set to play the Man of Steel's famous cousin in 2022 standalone, The Flash, alongside Ezra Miller in the title role. Welcome back to Unpeeled. The COVID-19 pandemic impacts every facet of life in 2020. America's pastime is no exception. Sports reporter Chris Sachi details how Major League Baseball has adapted its season with the playoffs in full swing. Baseball is a game rooted message out there. Our music reporter, Nick Gutierrez. Nick, thanks so much for coming on, man. Thank you. So coming up on Unpeeled, some massive movies in the spring and some Facebook tech that will terrify you. Don't miss it. Unpeeled is coming back right after this. Music. Um, so Kygo is definitely the main inspiration there. Okay, real quick. Is it a bop? Honestly, I love it. And like I said before, I had no idea what to expect when I heard Vin Diesel released a song, but I am so happy with it and would definitely recommend going to Lich. Caroline and Max, did you ever watch Peter Pan growing up? I did. I was terrified of Captain Hook. Oh, same. Literally checked my closet under my bed every night in case he was under there. Absolutely. Also, the alligator. Was it the alligator or the crocodile? Don't, Carmela, stop. stop. That was the horrific you're, you're, part. I'm, I'm we cannot go on right any now. longer. All right. Coming up on Unpeeled, a YouTuber is the new voice of a Family Guy character. And a J. Crew, and J. Crew. March Madness and the NCAA tournament has returned with a bang. A year of epic games and fascinating upsets is led by the Syracuse men's and women's teams. Yet, while the games have been great, Unpeeled sports reporter Chris Sachi explains that the NCAA has shown an unfair preference to the men and their needs over the women. Chris, first of all, before we get to that, I want to ask you, how, how are the men's and women's team doing in the tournament right now? Well, let's start with Jim Beheim's bunch. Uh, you know, he's been here for 45 years. Why not give him that respect? <laughs> His team has shocked the world. A great Syracuse career. Now, Chris, you mentioned the men's team first before the women's team. Well, the NCAA seems like they're mm -hmm. putting the men before the women. What mistakes have they made in terms of the NCAA women's tournament? Another piece of paper here, Max. I don't even know where to start. I mean, a lot of things are circulated on TikTok and Twitter, which is called for a lot of activism. Uh, activism. The first in K-pop music. So, I mean, looking back on all the stories that we went over today, I mean, the Vin Diesel song. I'm literally right after the show is over. I'm going to my phone. I'm going to iTunes, and I'm going to click on that song immediately. He might be my new favorite artist. Really? Mm-hmm. We'll have to see. It's I'm Vin really Diesel. Curious. It's like it's Kylie Jenner. It's That's Vin Diesel. <laughs> 
<laughs> on this train. That's totally fair. That is officially all the time we have for you on Syracuse Citrus TV's Unpeeled. For more content, our industry reporter, Yao Bansu, and our tech reporter, Ricky Sayer, are making an Unpeeled webisode. It's coming out this Friday. They'll discuss the PS5 and new releases. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carmela Boykin. And I'm Max Chow. See you guys later.